going on, America's your man? Hey, crack time for the hip hop spot. Here's what's popping off right now. Beyonce's lemonade, still like you know a very popular uh, topic of conversation. So, what is Jay Z gonna do? Well, word on the street is right now he is currently in the studio working on his very own version of lemonade. But what will he call it? Will it be limeade? Will it be another fruit? Or will it be just, you know, some street cool Jay-Z stuff? Here's the cool thing. When Jay-Z peels back some layers and stops rapping about money and gets very introspective, that's when it gets really interesting with Jay-Z. Think about some of his best records, like Lost Ones. This Can't Be Life. Um, the one joint, uh, You Must Love Me, off of In My Lifetime, Volume 1. I think he's going to go there. He's going to tell the other side of the story that Beyonce didn't tell. So this is going to be very interesting. Which brings us to this point. They probably playing this thing from the uh, very beginning. Because here's the thing. Especially people who like R&B out there. Y'all hate so much when R&B singers find love and they're happy. You guys rebel. Oh, I've seen you do this time and time again to some of your favorite artists. Remember how y'all used to love Keisha Cole? And y'all used to sing Love in the Shower like you wrote it? But the second she got married to Booby Gibson and started talking up, you know, had songs like I Love My Dude. I don't, I don't remember. I'm a guy. I never listened to a whole Keisha Cole album from beginning to end. But y'all turned on her. You also turned on Mary J. Blige after she wasn't getting beat up no more. When she wanted to be happy, you wasn't happy for her. Why? I don't know why. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all all need to see psychiatrists. But anyway, so Beyonce concocted this whole situation just to keep y'all engaged. Well played, Beyonce. Even well played, Jay-Z. Let's move it on. In other hip-hop news, let's talk about Joe Buttons. Joe Buttons is one of my favorite dudes in the game right now. He has a podcast, and uh, if you haven't checked it out, you totally should. But uh, one thing that he ranted about this week was Drake's new album. Here's what he had to say. Kid, on that album that I heard, sounds real fucking uninspired. That's what I think. I think that music is real good. You can't fool a real nigga. You can fool them. You can fool the people that are not paying attention. That music sounds good and I enjoy it. I played that album all the way to DC and all the way back. Multiple times. 40, you sound amazing. 40 continues to progress. Drake, you do not. I said the other day on this podcast, I missed the Drake that starts the waves, not hops on other waves. And I'll say, you know, and Joe Buttons has somewhat of a point. Like when Drake first came out, he was blazing the trail. Now the trail's blazing him. You know, he uh, got that joint hotline bling, but that wasn't originally his song. He kind of borrowed the concept from a guy named Drum, who's very talented his own right, but isn't as popular as Drake because he doesn't look like Drake. Y'all be playing the game out there in the media. Um, and, you know, and the cool thing about Joe Buttons, he's not bashing Drake. He's just stating what a lot of people out there already felt about Drake's album. And that's just his opinion, and he's rocking with it. But on other positive Drake news, he's going to be hosting Saturday Night Live and performing May 14th. Set your calendars for it. Mark it down on your TiVo. Get busy. He's going to get busy. Because, like, when you put a camera in front of Drake, he always goes ham. So that's it for me. For this and other stories, I'm following him on Twitter and Instagram, H-E-A-D-K-R-A-C-K. And you also could go to headcrack.com. It's a great site. Take it easy, guys.